peppers are one of the most versatile vegetables out there, but how do you know where to start when buying, I don't always know, or cooking with peppers? Well, Roberto Bolivar knows. He's from Lucky's Market. He's here to help out. And I tell you what, especially down in Mexico, some of you see all these peppers, all different things to do with them. I almost never know what to do. Oh, definitely. I mean, you know, a lot of these peppers in the middle are mostly used for kind of like fajitas and mm -hmm. um, kebabs and stuff like that. Like these, real mild. Yeah, these green peppers, are you see them in a lot of Hungarian dishes and things like that too, the, the salads. Um, I believe so, correct, and dips yeah. and stuff like that. Yeah. Um, What's the difference between like the yellow and the orange? So all the peppers are really based off of ripeness. So they're all really one pepper. So the green peppers is the original one. The longer you leave them on the vine, they start to change color a little bit more. No kidding. So, you know, the yellow peppers are a little bit longer. Uh -huh. The orange peppers, they leave them on a little bit longer, and the red are the longest that they leave on the vine, which is why they turn such a dark color. What about these little devils over here on the end? Um, these are the mini sweet peppers, so they're similar mm -hmm. forms. They're just a little bit smaller, a little bit sweeter than the normal ones. Mm -hmm. um, if you're going to cook something, like, would you toss these in with a roast or something just to just sweeten them up, or would you just always bit. eat these raw? Um, you can eat them raw, but I mean, you could just mix them in, incorporate them into like dips and, uh -huh. and things like that. Okay, are those are those the scary ones out here? Well, actually, we kind of, I kind of like to arrange them from the heat scale. So the poblanos uh -huh. got a little bit more spice than the regular peppers, but they're the mildest of the sp spicy peppers. Those you see Mexican people uh, stuff um, those a lot. You can stuff them a lot, yes, yeah, sir. Yeah, with cheese. Um, Jalapenos obviously are a little bit hotter than the poblanos. Are jalapenos getting bigger or is it just my imagination? I remember they used to be small little, pe little peppers, now they're like they're like cucumbers almost. Depending on the growing regions and stuff like that, they vary in size. Um, mm -hmm. You always want the smaller peppers. If you want the heat, the smaller the pepper, the hotter it's going to be. There's a tip um, for you right there, huh? <laughs> So yeah, because I was always, I was always worried because the recipe says use one jalapeno pepper. Well, one's this big and one's this big. Yeah. So, like I said, it really depends on the size for the heat intake of uh -huh. it, the Scoville units. Um, I believe jalapenos are usually about 2,500 uh -huh. Scoville units. Right. I see some stuff over in here, too. What's going on with this? Oh, you um, got some yellow mustard? This is just kind of some grilling items that we got uh, going on mm -hmm. sale now for Lucky's Market. That Lucky's Market is nice, man. Oh, it's fantastic. Yeah. Was that 117th and Clifton? Is that where it is over uh, there? Yes, sir. In yeah. the shops. Yeah, that is great. So let's go down here and see what's going on with this. This, I think, this. now we're getting to be in the, in the little bit hotter high power, range, huh? yes, sir. So the serrano peppers right here are hotter than the jalapenos. How much hotter? Um, I believe these run about 5,000 to 8,000 Scoville units. It's almost twice as hot. Yes, sir. Um, wow. These are more for... I mean, salsas, or you can even just roast them like that if you're a yeah. daredevil. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> right, that's a, that, that's a good way to say it. And these are the, they, some people call them scotch bonnets? Um, I've, I've never really heard referred to them like yeah. that. We just call them the orange habaneros. Orange habaneros. Um, these are probably one of the spicier peppers, if not the spiciest we carry at the moment. Yeah. These run about 325,000 Scoville units. There was a time they called this the hottest pepper, but I think there's another one now that they say is even hotter than this. Oh, yeah, I believe um, it's called the Carolina Reaper pepper. Yeah, Carolina Reaper. <laughs> yeah, those yeah, like are it's about kill 2 you. million Scoville units, so they're actually <laughs> a little bit hotter than a uh, pepper spray. I love that. <laughs> hey, so we got something down here, too. So this is something that you guys put together, sort of a, a, a kebab, a beef kebab, huh? Oh, yes, sir. Yeah, it's just kind of an example of how we utilize our peppers at the store and how the customers can utilize them at home as well. Yeah, that is terrific. Yeah, these things here man they're a little scary like sometimes I see these in a sauce and it's like I don't know maybe yeah. when I was younger you know I, I, mean, I don't know if you blend the proper ingredients together you can kind of uh -huh. manage the heat and take a little bit yeah so what I like about Lucky's Market is you guys also you have a gr the whole produce department is really terrific so where does this stuff come from this time of year um mostly the United States uh, we do get some importation from Mexico uh-huh which these are from right now right. Um, usually the growing regions in the United States for the peppers are about July to September uh -huh. and then we also um in the month of like August, September, we carry hatch chilies from oh, New Mexico. You, oh yeah, those um, are good. Hey, so you, tell me about hatch chilies. Why are they so sought after? When the hatch chili comes out, everyone goes crazy and starts buying them. Oh man, well I'm um, I'm actually from Albuquerque, New Mexico, so it's kind of just a staple for our hometown. Yeah. Um, the hatch chili is really just referred to as hatch because that's the city that the chilies are grown in. Oh no kidding. Um, but if you go down in New Mexico, they have different kinds of green chili on different growing regions uh -huh. and stuff so like that. So you're from Albuquerque, huh? Yes, sir. <laughs> so peppers down there, man, that's, a, that's oh, like... Oh, it's a big, big it's thing. As popular <laughs> as tomatoes, right? Yes, sir. Hey, so how do you make those hatch peppers, like when you make them? Um, well, if you just buy them raw, you could do it multiple ways. You could throw them on the grill uh -huh. and kind of let them boil up the skin, kind of pop, and they then have kill a, it. They have a little heat? Uh, some do. They kind of yeah. It's kind of like the range of these. Mm -hmm. You know, it goes from mild, so you could buy 
50 pound sacks of mild chili, medium chili, all the way up to yeah. extra, extra hot. Yeah. Um, hey, when you said you put them on the grill and, and, and they bubble up a little and make them pop and you take the skin off, is yes, taking sir. the skin off a good idea with, with a lot of peppers? It is if you're roasting them. Yeah. Um, you know, the skin just kind of acts, acts, adds like papery, a little texture huh? to it. Yeah. yeah. Um, I know that we have this big chili roaster at Lucky's Market and we carry them a lot in Albuquerque, but you pretty much throw a 50 pound sack of chilies in there light up the propane burner and it just goes away. So you can roast about 100 pounds at a time. That's partying, man. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. So you need some beers with that party. Oh, yes, definitely. OK, I knew, we get, I knew we'd get a yes on that one. Hey, man, it's great to see you. Hey, thank you, Derek. Yeah, Appreciate check, it. Yeah, yeah. Check out Lucky's Market. It is a great spot. And when we